Assalamu alaikum and very warm welcome to the short videos on Share for Good. My name is Muhammad Ridwan Mustafa. I'm from Malaysians and fellow members of SIMA and SCGMA. I'm currently uh, the Vice President of Good Risk Management in Tungani Incorporated. It's an investment holding company as well as the investment arm for the state of government of Tungani. Actually, Tungani is situated in the eastern of Venezuela, Malaysia. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia, our government has imposed a movement control order, or we call it as MCO, to break the change of infections. The initial period began on 18 March and the different rules and restrictions take effect on faces based on the current situation. Starting on the 4th May, the government enforced the conditional MCO by allowing, allowing certain businesses and social activity to resume with the exemptions of activity involving uh, large gatherings and those exposing the public to the risk of being infected. During the pandemic, there has not been much of a difference in my uh, normal watch routines, uh, as we have previously been allowed to work from home. However, our job during this time is a crucial, and we cannot attend a meeting, go to the site, or make the physical visits which make it difficult to perform all our duties. As the head uh, of my department, uh, my job during this pandemic is definitely challenging. This is because uh, under normal circumstances, we uh, would find ourselves preparing for a yearly enterprise risk management or ERM exercise around this time. But at this exceptional time, we call for a different set of priorities and an, an occasion to use our skill in a new way. Now is the moment to look uh, beyond the annual routine and step up to help our company in terms of uh, its business operation and crisis strategy. I believe that those involved in uh, tourism uh, and hospitality-related uh, business uh, will have a significant impact on the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, during this pandemic, we are facing challenges, but many companies are struggling to cope. I think it's particularly because of uh, so limited attention given to business continuity in the past. Now it's not time for regret, but for constructive collaboration to develop agile responses and identify a practical solutions. There is still a lot that can be done to catch up in the response and recovery phases. My team is currently contributing to the development and execution of the crisis management plan and the business continuity plan, which will utilize to concentrate our effort on the number of priority over the coming months. At this time, the most important things we need to continue doing is promoting a risk culture. It is a fundamental human aspect of this crisis and should be properly addressed when implementing risk mitigation and business continuity measure. We must ensure that our risk management and business continuity measure are clearly defined, understood, made visible so that the organization involve the entire organization's fully applied by the top management and most importantly possible to execute. I hope to use my specific sets of competency and knowledge that I learned from SEMA, uh, specifically when I was preparing for the strategic study exam, which I strongly uh, believe was a valuable contribution to my personal. I'm glad to, to have this opportunity to speak and share my experiences during this crisis. And I hope everybody stays safe, healthy, wherever you are. Thank you.